Welcome back to another Mobile Centrics Tips and Tricks. My name is Derek, and today I'm going to be talking about a brand new tool that we are now carrying. And you might have already seen them on the website, and you're wondering, what are they? This one, for example. It's the JCID Pro BGA70, which is designed to read and write the NAND for specific models. This one is for the uh, iPhone 5SE through the 7 Plus, the iPad 5, 6, 7, iPad Pro 1 and 2. Now here I have a second one. It's the BGA uh, 315 for the NAN read and write, which is uh, designed for the SE3, the 14, 14 Plus, 14 Pro, 14 Pro Max, iPad 10, Air 5, Pro 6, and then this third one, which is the uh, Pro BGA 110, which is designed for the iPhone 8 through the 13 Pro Max, the iPhone SE second gen, iPad 8, 9, Air 3, Air 4, Mini 5, Mini 6, Pro 3, 4, and 5. So there's different types of BGA arrays within the NAND family, and so you have these programmers are compatible for those specific models. You might be asking yourself, why would I need this? Well, for those of you that do board level work, you may run into the instance where there's an issue with the NAND, or you're looking to do data recovery, or you're looking to swap over the NAND, whatever the, the reason might be. If you're trying to do a, a board swap, you need to transfer over the CPU, the EEPROM, the NAND, the baseband, whatever it is you, you, you need, you're probably going to be needing one of these tools. Or one of my favorites, if you're looking to upgrade the memory of a phone, say you have a phone that's 128 gigabyte and you're wanting to upgrade it to a 512 and you're wanting to upgrade it to one of the steps up or two steps up from there to where you have a substantial amount uh, more of, of memory, having a tool like this will allow you to do that. Or you can pull the, pull the NANDs from maybe a... Uh, a, a, a dead board that that wasn't a result of a dead man from a higher gigabyte phone or maybe one that was water damaged or damaged in another way that has a higher memory as long as the chip is compatible you can then program it to work using using this combination between this the jcid programmer because these plug in into this but being able to upgrade the memory you know, of a phone uh, can 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 allow you to upsell that device. Say you're selling it, you want to upgrade the memory to a higher memory. You can you can upsell it. I mean, if you think about it, when you're buying a phone from Apple, basically every tier, starting with the lowest gigabytes, every time you jump up in memory, it's jumping up what a hundred bucks. So when you're jumping up three, you know, two or three tiers, you know, that's a couple hundred dollar, a couple hundred dollar difference that you might be able to sell that phone for. Uh, by by upgrading the memory to a higher capacity, uh, along with all of the other the other parts of uh, of the industry with data recovery, uh, with overall repair when you have a, a phone that, that has a band down, being able to pull it and uh, read and write the data to to a new NAND, uh, these tools are going to be your friend in those cases. Like and subscribe if you want to see a video where I go through the actual repair step by step in using these programmers. If we get enough likes, I'll definitely do it. And leave a comment below if there's any other tool or repair that you'd like to see. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.